a little bit of soloing and playing with other musicians. Today, we're going to work on making your saxophone talk. What? Yeah, we're going to make your solo speak rather than you just playing notes or cool things that you have uh, have heard, you know, like cool licks and lines and things like that. That's all good, and it's good to know that stuff, but you want your saxophone playing to t go to the next level, which is to sound as if you were having a conversation with somebody. Like me, for example, okay? Get your horns out. This is a play-along. Today we're going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, getting over a cold. I bet you've all had them too. Colds, it's that time of year, right? Anyway, uh, we're going to work on a, we're going to use a Lenny Pickett song today, right? Lenny Pickett? Yeah, you know who he is. If you don't, look him up. Amazing sax player. I think he's got like, I, I can play like five octaves or something. Just incredible. We're not going there. But we're going to use a song of his today called Bust It Again off his latest album, Bust It Again, because it's simple and it gives us a chance to demonstrate some of the techniques of making your playing sound more like a conversation. All right. Here are the notes. You got to figure them out. I'm not going to help you out. You got to play them by ear. If you're an alto sax player or a tenor sax player, tenor sax players, we're in, uh, I think we're in C sharp, R C sharp. Now that didn't sound much like talking, did it? I just played the line. I just walked you through the basic opening salvo there. And I'm going to show you what we can do in just a minute here to help you get into making your saxophone playing sound a little more like, like you're having a one-on-one -on -one with somebody. Now, the first step is intent, all right? Intent. What do I mean by intent? It means I am intending to make my playing sound like I'm talking to you, okay? The second is technique. We're going to use uh, a couple of really simple ones. One is dynamics, all right? Now, with this caveat, of course, dynamics often don't happen in bands that you're playing in, right? Not everybody got the dynamics memo. We don't care about that. If they can't figure it out, they don't deserve to have you playing with them again. Now, do they? All right, so dynamics. Let's play some things soft. We're going to play some things loud. Most of us play, when we play the saxophone, and we're kind of, you know, emerging soloists or, you know, intermediate level players, most of us will play everything at the same time, right? We won't play anything like, yeah, a lighter. We won't, you know, reach for different notes. We won't do those kinds of things. We're not going to get into that, but we're going to try those things out today because they will help you. And let's go back to that song now. The, just the basic line is so simple. <laughs> All right, I played everything at the same volume here. Let's mix up the volume. Let's play with dynamics. All right, let's start out like, hey, I'm a tenor sax player. I'm here to entertain you. All right, I just faded out. And I'm doing you know, gross examples here. You don't have to be gross. I'm just doing big examples that will jump out and grab you. This is sort of, you know, if you, if you, those of you who are old enough to have watched the Charlie Brown holiday cartoons on television, uh, you'll remember that there was one, I don't know if it was the Great Pumpkin or, but at any rate, the, the teacher, Charlie Brown's teacher, is voiced by a trumpet with a me. Wop, 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 wop. And it's amazing how much that sounded like a school teacher talking. I, no offense to any of those of you, but, you know, some of us growing up had teachers who kind of sounded like that. So anyway, that is, uh, I, I know it's an, ex I, I, I've overextended the example here. But still, you know, we want to reach out and be a little bit larger when we're doing this than we would be in normal conversation. Okay. You get the point? All 
right, that sounds a little bit more like conversation. Not quite exactly. And of course, if I could just play one note, one note, just one note, like the great Lenny Pickett, I'd probably sell my saxophone and say, <laughs> that bucket list achieved, right? Anyway, look him up and listen to him. If you don't know him, that's a, probably a sin to not know who Lenny Pickett is and play the saxophone. Figure it out on your alto, figure it out on your tenor, and try this stuff out. Record yourself, always be recording yourself, play it back, listen to yourself, and say, you know, that's a little more like conversation. Now, the second thing you can do is lay out. All right, the first thing we talked about was dynamics. I'm going to play like loud, I'm going to play soft. I'm not going to play every note at the same level. Second thing you can do is just lay out, right? So next time you have a solo, do this, right? Think about, I'm going to play for two measures, and then not play for a measure. And then I'm going to play for two more measures, and then I'm going to lay out for two measures. I mean, that's again, that's a big gross exercise, and maybe it doesn't quite fit the music, but you get the point. Play, lay out, let the band chug a little bit. Play a little more, lay out, let the band chug a little more. And that's another thing that we, we tend to do when we've had coffee. We tend to <laughs> run on in our conversations, and nobody likes to hear a run-on conversationalist. <clears throat> It's kind of what I'm doing now, isn't it? But hey, this is YouTube, baby. And, you know, we have time limits. We, we, we must move on. So anyway, this gives you two tools that you can use. Dynamics and laying out. Silence, right? Playing loud, not playing every note loud, not playing every note at the same level. And thinking more about making it conversational as opposed to just playing, you know, a bunch of cool riffs that you've learned. That's a stage in learning, learning cool riffs, have putting them all together and playing them, you know, in front of an audience. That's part of the picture, but it's not the whole picture. You want to sound a little bit more like, like you're talking to somebody, right? So intent, focus, and then think about, this, this, this is number three here, this is the big one. Well, no, no, wait, intent, focus, we're going to use dynamics, we're going to lay out and then the fourth thing, number four, keep track, Dave, keep track. Okay, I'm keeping track. Number four is, and this is, a, this is way out there, but it's really helped a lot of my students. Think about what you want to say with that solo. In other words, tell a story, right? Tell a little bit of a story with that solo. Sound good? Yeah, think about something. Don't tell me what the story is. Tell it through your horn. Tell me a story about the sunrise, a really cool peanut butter and jelly sandwich, your dog, anything. Or if it's a blues, well, you know where to go with that. So there's some ideas. I'd love to hear back from you. Dave Good Sax, excuse me, Dave Good Sax at gmail.com. Leave comment in the below. Leave a comment in the below. <laughs> I don't have a script. I should hire a script. Leave a comment in the comment section below and I will get right back to you. I always love to hear from you. Thank you all so much, those of you who have subscribed. And if you haven't, and if this is of any value to you, maybe you will subscribe and uh, you could uh, feed me some ideas about questions that you'd like to have answered or future topics that I could cover here, okay? All right, make it sound like you're talking. And if you'd like, please record yourself and post, all right? Or send me a link. I'd love to hear from you. All right, take care. Have a great day. Thanks for being there.